Up on the housetop, reindeer paws. Out jumps good old Santa Claus. Down through the chimney with lots of toys. All for the little one's Christmas. Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, December 12th, 2009. This week, up on the housetop, clip, clip, clip. How to use clipping masks. Will you be listening for the clippity clop of reindeer hooves on your roof this year? I know at least one little boy who will be desperately trying to stay awake on Christmas Eve, just listening for Dancer and Prancer. Even if you can't stay awake to witness the visit from that jolly old elf, you can still enjoy clippity clipping in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements this season. Try this clipping mask shortcut on your holiday projects and give yourself a few extra seconds of holiday prep time. When you're using a layered template, a layered frame set, or a photo block, you'll use clipping masks to digitally glue your photos and papers to the placeholder. In Photoshop Elements, this process is referred to as grouping, while in Photoshop the term used is clipping mask, but the process is the same in both programs. To use masks, stamped blocks, layered templates, or photo masks, Begin by dragging a photo over the mask or placeholder layer using the Move tool. Make sure that the photo layer here is directly above the mask layer here. If it's not, use the Move tool to drag the layer directly above the mask layer. The photo needs to be large enough to completely cover your mask here. Use the corner handles to resize either the photo or the mat if necessary. In Photoshop, hold the shift key as you're resizing to maintain the aspect ratio and keep the photo in proportion. In Photoshop Elements, you'll need to experiment with the shift key since early versions required the shift and later versions did not. With the photo in place, Move your cursor between the photo layer and the mask layer here in the Layers panel. Press the Alt key on a Mac system, that's the Option key on your keyboard. As you do this, your cursor changes to a double circle arrow. When this occurs, click once. The photo will take the shape of the mask or layer beneath it. Using the Move tool, you can still move, resize, or twist or turn your photo when you're satisfied with the position, check the check mark here in the options bar. In Photoshop Elements, the check mark will be here below the photo. And press Control E, or on a Mac system, that's Command E to merge the two layers together. Here in the Layers panel, you can see that now the two layers have merged together into one. And finally, don't forget that you can use the same technique to apply pattern paper to the mask instead of a photo. Click, 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 down through the chimney with good Saint Nick.